So I'm so excited to be here. Some people might think that I am jacked up on coffee, but I'm actually not. My cortisol is fl flowing fine because of exercise, fitness, and siestas. I'm Henry Kreuter, Sifu Slim, author of Sedentary Nation and The Aging Athlete. You ask the ultimate wellness question, ask it of a wellness person. Here, most people ask science. They're always looking for scientists. Oh, what is this? Let's see all the latest studies. But a wellness person doesn't think the same as a scientist. And your mom didn't think well enough of coffee to give it to you when you were six or when you were a newborn, did she? Why is that? Your developing brain couldn't handle it. But all of a sudden, you're 18, and now you're ready to be hyper, and your brain is developed, and you can compromise your brain. I don't think that's how we were designed. If you want to pick me up, there's other things that you can do. If you want to get adrenal burnout, then drink coffee. That's the problem. There's chemical things that happen, cortisol, stress, fight or flight, all those types of things. If you want more blood flow to your brain, go to the first picture. That's before caffeine, more blood flow in the MRI. Second picture, 20 minutes after caffeine. Same person, same MRI. That's on YouTube, check it out. CBS News Reporter, that's her actual brain. Now, I believe in smooth sailing. That's a 1970s car, and I was a young person in the 70s. I want to be like that car for the rest of my life, a functioning, fit car. Not just a high-performance car that burns out like the Wall Street people and all the people who drink coffee. That's not where I want to be. If you want your system to fire fully, well, you want a spark plug that lasts a long time. We can't replace ours like we can with cars. We've only got one shot. Our heart and our brain, we've got one shot. And if you're cramming for exams, okay, take a break, have a mocha. But if you're filling out your taxes, think again. The brain needs stimulus. Do you want a good stimulus or a bad stimulus? You have to ask yourself that. And I believe you can get stimulus by many other things than coffee. Your brain needs stimulus. So don't forget that we're going to come back to that. Impulses or to make you move, the electronics of the brain, that's the fascinating part of the whole thing. It fires on glucose. That's predominantly what it fires on. You put nutrients in your body, your system digests it, it goes up to the brain, and you become a balanced person. That's what you should be doing. Not fight or flight, not autoimmune problems and all the other things. How many people in here play snooze roulette? Well, they have uneasy sleep, it equals less total sleep. They stay in bed, it's part of rebellion. I completely understand rebellion, but I don't have dread of getting up because I don't have my cortisol out of whack because of coffee. Hunter-gatherers, the HGs up there, they didn't need coffee, they had less lack. They had more connection with nature and natural living. They had more fulfillment. They had a sexual decathlon. They had more time for sex, which equals more sex, which equals better strength, neurology, hormones, more sex. How many people vote for that? You look up Wikipedia, which is where I started three years ago when I was writing Sedentary Nation, I was amazed to see the coffee reports 90% bad, 10% good. Grand scale agriculture, it's bad. It compromises everything, even the people who work in it. Stifle versus stimulate. Oh, we need stimulation. The opposite of that is to stifle it. How do you stifle the human machine? Just like a car, you put in bad fuel, you give it bad commands, you have lack of commands, too much apathy, or you give it too many demands, you're flooring it too much. Or you put too much fuel in the machine, which is what most people do with the break time at work, constantly putting in sugar. Here's the contamination headline. Look at this, water, fruit, vegetable smoothies. All of these are searchable on YouTube or on the internet. Coffee beans, practically all samples were contaminated with molds. They grow at the equator. The equator is moist. They ship them in the hulls of boats. The hulls of boats are moist. Now, this person down here, withdrawals. What about fasting? You could go fasting, you could get nutrient rich, you can get euphoria, all those things will help you get through the withdrawals, or you could drink Tulsi tea or green tea, which contain less caffeine. This person probably had too much Tulsi, Tulsi tea. Euphoria, the Greek word for health, euphoros, that's what we need, we need more euphoria. Boy, you're gonna carry that weight. 
carry that weight a long time. And I say you need euphoria to carry it through. You do not want to dread life. Once you get thriving with euphoria, this is what you do. You do physical activity, athletics, movement, dance, whatever it is. You get a lot of release. Doesn't that mural look fun? That's where I say you should be spending your time, not in front of the computer, not in front of the big screen. Get out and enjoy physical movement. Get jubilation. Look at this man in the 60s. He's in the natural outdoor setting, getting some vitamin D. He's getting high on life. That's where I want to be when I'm in my 60s, and I'm only 10 years away, and I can't wait because I want to join that man in being elated. So if you want to find out more, go to sedentarynation.com. I believe it's good to be off caffeine, be off coffee, take you three to five days to get off it. Go to my website, then meet me online or in the outdoors. Have a Zen experience with me. And remember, I am a wellness person. Boy and girls, you gonna carry that way a long time. How to stimulate your health. This is what I drink. On the left is my jar. Then you go to organic apple cider vinegar, then cinnamon, then turmeric, and then a little bit of organic apple juice, some highly acidic a grapefruit or a lemon, that'll kill bad bacteria and you enjoy sour, that's where you need to be. If you can't handle that, go for the stimulation of the brain through the smoothie. Starbucks sells the experience. We think it's caffeine. No, they sell the freedom experience. But guess what? They also sell smoothies. So enjoy your smoothies if you go to Starbucks and enjoy life. Get euphoria, the Greek word for health. Aloha.